Hello everybody, this is my first user review. Or, rant if you will. It is about, the hypocritical, sick in the head, the famous, crybaby, Sarah Breatigam, better known on the internet as African Vulture. This woman's wrongdoings are sort of hidden from the general public because of her idiotic fans defending her. Some people don't know why she is hated so much, but from my experience. When I watched a few of her videos, I was definitely, not a fan. Her videos are garbage, they are very lazily made, and have little to no plot or storyline, and little to no humor or comedy. But let's be so for real, we can't expect her to have genuine humor, she created the whole Caillou gets grounded trend. Her trash videos isn't the only negative thing about her. She is a middle-aged woman, but she is not independent. Why? She isn't responsible with money. She has been on lots of whale watching tours that she claims was funded by her sister's paycheck and donations she received from her YouTube. Her obsession with whales led her to apply to be a janitor at SeaWorld, and that only lasted around half a year. This woman is almost 40, and she lives in her sister's house. She refuses to get her own house with all the donated money and SeaWorld employee checks. Instead, she chooses to buy things that involves franchises she loves like Star Wars. Moving on to how she is a massive crybaby and woman child. A long time ago, when the GoAnimate official website had threads, she'd always cry about her videos not getting to the front page. On top of that she can never take any kind of criticism. It is also speculated that Sarah got a GoAnimator named Isaac Studios terminated. Because Sarah and her brain dead fanbase get people terminated, not a lot of people know about this, but Sarah used to abuse the copyright strike system to delete a channel just because she doesn't like it. One time in March of 2016, African Vulture had a fight with a YouTube video reviewer named Pyrus Cynical after he reviewed one of her trash videos, she tried mass reporting his video and using YouTube's copyright tools to get it deleted, and it worked, but she retracted it and apologized, getting the video back on YouTube in less than two hours, but, she should have never done that in the first place because false takedowns are illegal. One time she also told her brain dead fans to dislike Bomb, and hate on Luke Animate over a YouTube poop video he made on her, and she did it to him again over a reaction video, proving she can't take a joke or criticism. And now I'm just gonna take a break from talking about her crybaby behavior. Let me explain that, Sarah is a literal racist. She made a video where her character says a bunch of cuss words, including the n-word, hard r too. She didn't directly say it, but she still typed it in, which is basically the same level as texting it. Shout out to my YouTube friend Ludwig for talking about this in his video, that's how I found out. It was an old video from 2016, I found out because she made a re-upload in 2019 or 2020. Not sure which year, very disgusting, and there was no reason to include the n-word in that video, I will read out some of the description of it, and I quote. I clearly wasn't thinking when I used the n-word in the making of that video back then. And I'm sorry you got offended by that word. The reason I re-uploaded this was for archival purposes only, yada yada yada, this video was made four years ago, and four years doesn't matter. Okay. That apology is lame, because what kind of excuse is archival purposes? That's a bad excuse because by uploading the video again it would prove you are not sorry, if you really want to show remorse, don't reintroduce the video, she also said it isn't that racist, I should not have to explain. Moving on from her racism, she also defends weirdos according to a video she made, I would react to it but of course this sensitive crybaby deleted it to run away from hate. But she said stuff in the video like censoring private parts makes it not CP. Just because it is censored doesn't make it different. She also says Harry Strack isn't a pedo because he is 16. However you actually can be diagnosed with pedophilia at 16. The fact that she likes Roku-kun at all, kind of makes her a second-hand pedo. If you support Roku-kun, stop supporting him, his videos are just child abuse mixed with fetish crap. And she is just an idiot, credit to Ludwig for the idea.